Hey Cubers, somewhere in the comment section of a video you must have seen someone say or you could use Petrus. So what is Petrus and how do we use it? So let's jump straight into the method. So the first step of the Petrus method is to make a 2x2x2 two by two by two block. So the red and blue side looks good. So here is our 2x2x2 two by two by two block. The next step is to extend this 2x2x2 two by two by two block to a 2x2x3 two by two by block. So the orange side is uh, puffed. Can set? So here we have extended the block to a 2x2x3. Two by two by and now the next step is to orient the rest of the edges of the cube. So an oriented edge is an edge which can be solved using R and U moves. For example, this is an oriented edge and this is an oriented edge, but this is not an oriented edge. So to orient this edge, I will do a trigger. I will do some triggers and my edges will be oriented. Now the next step is to solve this block and then the top layer. So as you can see uh, this step can be done rotationlessly uh, and uh, your cross will already be formed. So you can use winter variation. This was one of the easiest. This is the easiest winter variation case actually. So you just align these two like this and insert the pair. Now you can also use COLL in this step as your cross will already be oriented. Then we have the PLL. So let's get. So let's go over the method again. So the first step of the method is to make a 2x2x3 two by two by block. So here's the 2x2x3 two by two by block and now we'll extend this block. So this time also I'll extend it on the blue side. So now we've extended the block. Now the next step is to orient the edges. So um, these two are only the misoriented edges. So here yeah, I have oriented them and now I can solve the rest of the cube like this and uh, insert OLL and then PLL. So the advantages of the Petrus method are that it is rotationless and has a lower move count. It is very similar to ZZ, ZZ but also to C4. So this method is very easy to switch to. This method is also used for FMC. So I hope that you liked my video and have decided on whether to learn Petrus or not.